With the Ryzen remote working, it's important to be able to access your projects from wherever you are. Blackmagic Design's DaVinci Resolve uses a database structure where all your projects are stored in a single central database. With its ability to leverage Postgres SQL, this means you can share databases and access them from any client system on the network. You can even VPN onto the network to connect to that database. To set up a shared database, you'll need to designate one system as the database server. This can be one of your workstations that already runs Resolve or a separate dedicated server. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated database server using my own home server as the database server and connecting both my workstation and my laptop as clients. It's important to know that to connect to a database server, you have to be running the studio version of Resolve. The database server itself doesn't need the studio version, but the clients do. It's also important to know that you have to have the same version of Resolve installed on all of the clients. The first step is to install DaVinci Resolve Studio. During the installation process, you will need to ensure that you've selected Postgres SQL. Once the installation is complete, you will have installed DaVinci Resolve Studio and the Resolve Project Server application. If we launch the Project Server application, this is the app that will allow us to configure, share and control our databases. Along the top of the application window, you will see Enable Sharing, New Database, Optimize, Backup, Restore, Add Folder and Create Access Key Buttons. If we want to create a new database, we would click on New Database, give our database a name and select Create. The default password for new SQL databases within Resolve is DaVinci with a capital D and V. However, you can change this to password protect your databases depending on who you wish to give access to. Once our database has been created, we can then enable sharing on it. To do so, select the database and click on the Enable Sharing button. You will now see that a small icon has appeared next to the database to indicate that it is shared. To access this newly shared database on our remote system, we can use two methods. The first is to create an access key. This is a small plain text file that you can drag and drop into the project manager on a remote system for Resolve to automatically connect to the database. To create an access key, select the database and click on the Create Access Key button. Alternatively, we can open the project manager within the client system, select New Database, Connect, Postgres SQL, and then enter the details for our database manually. Once Resolve is connected to the database, it will be listed in the database sidebar. Whilst a shared database allows me to access my projects remotely, it does not give me access to the media. This means that we would either need a shared storage solution on which all of our media is stored, or copies of the media on each remote system. If you have a shared storage solution, all of the clients can access the media from the same file path. However, if we're using copies of the media on each system, unless you have a very strict naming convention and folder hierarchy, it's likely that your media will appear under different file paths. This isn't a problem within Resolve, however, as we can use mapped mounts to tell Resolve where different media is stored. To configure mapped mounts, open the preferences within Resolve, either by opening a project and selecting DaVinci Resolve Preferences, or use the Control or Command plus Comma shortcut. Under Systems Media Storage, you will see that Mount and Mapped Mount columns. Mount is the local drives that the system has access to, while Mapped Mount is a reflection of the same file path on an alternative system. As an example, I have media stored under E Media Projects Blackmagic RAW on my workstation, but on my laptop it's stored under D Blackmagic RAW. Under Mapped Mounts on my workstation, I will put the file path for my laptop and on my laptop, I will put the file path from my workstation. This tells Resolve where to look on each of the systems for my media. As I've been setting this up within my house, I'm easily able to connect to the same network. However, it is possible to use a VPN to connect to a network running a shared database. Once all of your clients are connected to the database server, you can work just like you would with a regular disk database. One advantage of the shared database is that you can have multiple users working on the same project simultaneously. But as that's such a large topic, we'll save that for another video. I hope this has helped in understanding how you can work remotely with DaVinci Resolve. 
The ScanPro video team are always on hand for any workflow queries that you might have, so please don't hesitate to contact us.